Okay, so what I'm doing is stencils with the new Stuart Gill Galactica paint and Metamika. If I'm saying that right, high shine metallic and glitter sparkle. Yay! So, what I've already done is popped out the stencils. Found some nice little inexpensive ones at Walmart of all places. Yes, they do have stuff there for people like me. So, I want to pull this all away and prep my surface and get the cat bobble out of the way because she likes to help or think she is. So, my surface is pretty much prepped. It's just some plain muslin because I'm going to experiment before I ever use it on clothes. And because I'm a highly organized person and I don't like to lose pieces because I may use them later, I keep Ziploc baggies on hand all the time. So small ones, big ones for whatever size project I'm going to use. So these will be my little throwaway pieces possibly someday or um, hang on to them for little parts later. And then I'll have an empty one for solid pieces after they've dried from the paint. They're just paper. And I'm going to use the shiny side because that's going to resist the paint most of all. I read through how to use these. And I like the metals. They're quite nice. But we're experimenting together here to see how this is best going to be utilized. And I've got a number of different brushes um, to put them on with. Flat. These are all my fabric painting brushes. I also use them for acrylics because, frankly, the stuff watches off pretty easily. It's not a big deal. So keep your lids handy. Oh, you can tell this is a brand new brush. Now. You can hold it down or you can use a fabric spray glue and spray it down. Spray it on the back of your stencil and lay it down. It's not a huge stencil and I'm experimenting so I'm not going to bother with gluing it down right now. But seeing as how it's a stencil, I'm just going to go around the edges first. I did experiment a little bit with hand paint brushing and you can get some nice clean lines with the smaller brushes and the fine paints but the um, the metallic Mika, Metamika but the um, glitter not so much. It's kind of hard to get a nice clean edge so I'm going to experiment here and see if I can't get the look I'm going for. Using the stencil instead of hand painting it. It's got a nice, it's got a nice shine to it. I do like it. Um, Spray gluing might work a little bit better. Hmm. Still thinking about that. I kind of want to do a double fold thing here. I think it might be interesting. I want to eyeball it. And lay it down. I should probably just stick a little bit with the paint that's already on there, so I'm not going to bother too much with uh, messing with too many different spray glue type stuff. And then I think I will use a brush to kind of layer this in the way I want. Now this is supposed to give it some extra body oomph with it being the glitter. And once it's dry, anyways.
Bobble, what are you getting into? And you just want to get it all into the corners. You've probably done stenciling before, maybe, maybe not. Fairly easy to do. Don't need a lot of expertise doing stencils. That's why I like them. Easy peasy. And talk about a quick way to decorate just about anything. Walls, jeans, you name it. You need to keep these things capped once you're done using them so they won't dry out. And I got a little bit of edging. Hmm. Yeah. We'll see. And it takes quite a bit of time to dry because I've already tried experimenting with drying. So, as you can see with just the plain glitter, if you just paste it on the glitter, the glue actually disappears. So you can actually have a straight glitter. And actually that's really pretty. I'm pretty sure that would be um, quite nice on a number of different garments. But I tend to like the, the thicker glitter rather than the spaced out glitter myself. You may think of something different. But there you have it. Now that's the Stuart Gill Galactica and Metamica or Mica, whatever however they're calling it. There wasn't a lot of information on their website which would have been helpful. But one of the things they do say to do is when you're storing them, keep them closed, cool, dry place, just about any fabric paint is like that. When you go to use it again, you want to put in a little bit of water and stir it up. But otherwise, this is going to take a long time to dry. So we'll go do something else.